As we love talking about great things that are happening around our community, and there's one coming up in just a couple of days, Jackie, that, uh, again, it's going to be over at Hoyt Sherman, and it's going to be a really cool event. Yeah, uh, an art exhibit we want to yeah. talk about right now, but also a wonderful organization that's helping to, a couple of wonderful organizations that's helping to make sure this happens. So we want to say good morning to Christina Smith. She is president and CEO of Community Support Advocates, which good does morning. help support individuals impacted by mental health and disabilities in our community. So thank you for that. Also, Amber Corrieri, who is director of the communication with Mainstream Living, joining mm -hmm. us as well. Thank you both for being here. Okay, so let's talk about your wonderful organization and leading up to a great event that's just a couple days away. Great, thank you. Um, community Support Advocates, like you said, we do support individuals with impacted by mental health and disabilities. And one of our uh, many programs is our Momentum program that we promote our um, we promote hope and resiliency through art. Okay. And this is our 14th annual. 14th. Um, yes. Wow. 14th annual um, exhibition um, for uh, artists impacted um, by. Um, mental health and disabilities um, and actually we actually have a competition prior to that so we um, in the month of September we've had a competition um, for anyone impacted by disabilities or mental health has entered the competition we had a local juror um, Susan Watts of the Olson Larson Gallery this year every year we have a different um, local artist juror and then um, we'll have a one-time exhibit of the winners um, this Thursday at Hoyt Sherman um, and it's always a great event it's free and open to the public and we have some fantastic Fantastic art this year. How about Wonderful. That? So yeah. uh, these are people from our community yes. that might have a, a mental disability or disorder and they've used art as a, a form of recovery. Yes. Yes. A and what is that correlation? How have you seen art uh, kind of bring out uh, right. a person uh, when they're dealing with situations like this? Right. So we believe that art can be very transformative and um, Momentum's mission is to um, either get are, um, individuals with impacted by disability art um, access, but also um, to help them use art as an as a means to communicate and to um, to tell their story. Right. Um, but we have some fantastic art, um, some fantastic artists that we want to um, get to the table and tell their story and to be um, communicating. Um, and part of that art community. We have such a thriving art community Absolutely. Right? Um, in Des Moines. And uh, it is really impactful to have others um, see your art and share um, your art. And that's what this event is about, is to really get out there. It takes a lot of cur courage, actually, to Absolutely. share your art. And um, it is really um, neat to watch the community interact with our artists and the artists share their art and to have it recognized in an event like this. And Main Street Living is the uh, presenting sponsor yes. for this year's event, too. And uh, Amber, tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So it, it's actually a perfect partnership. If you're not familiar with Mainstream Living, we actually provide residential and supportive services to individuals with disabilities and mental illness. So having, like Christina said, that access to art is the first piece. Oftentimes, uh, people with disabilities and mental illness don't have the funds or the means to be able to have those opportunities. So providing the access is very important. And then the growth opportunities that it provides, not only our members, but others in the community who have uh, disabilities and brain injuries and mental illness Now when you say well. providing access, what are you exactly talking about? Um, well, like I said briefly, oftentimes um, those who have disabilities do not have the financial means to be able to um, participate in different forms of art activities. So uh, CSA is providing that at no cost, of course, um, which is just a, an immense opportunity for uh, the people that we serve and, and for agencies like ours. Now, what kind of mediums are we going to see? We naturally think of painting and things yes. like that, but are we going to see some different kinds of art pieces at the yeah. gallery coming up? Yep, so we have quite a few um, pieces of photography as well as some sculpture that are in this okay. year as well. Um, and then, of course, some painting as well. Wonderful. And about how many pieces are we going to be able to see on Thursday? There are 40 this year. 40? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And that and those are ones that have already been judged. Yes. Uh, so these are kind of the grand champions that we're able to focus on <laughs> right. Uh, right. coming up on Thursday. Yeah. But as you mentioned, absolutely free. Yeah. So wh what's the purpose uh, besides sharing these stories and seeing these amazing artists? Why should people come out and see this show on Thursday? That is a great question. It is a great opportunity, one, if you love art, to see a fantastic show. Mm -hmm. um, but it also is a great opportunity to um, to help us um, interact, um, to, to help us 
provide hope and um, resiliency and possibilities um, to individuals with disabilities and mental health issues um, by um, by honoring their work mm -hmm. and coming out and um, interacting and 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 observing, right? Absolutely. Um, I was it just has to be inspiring for yeah. everyone involved, isn't it? It I, is my favorite night of the year. Oh, um, and I, we put on some really great stuff. Um, but the just seeing the the art and the artists and watching. Will the, the artists impact. be there? I was just yes. yes. Are, yes. We, are yeah. we able to interact with the artists? Correct. Yes. And some of the artists, um, because the show has been jurred, so um, some of the artists, it's their first time ever having their pieces shown. Well, it's looking and, to be nervous too. <laughs> yeah. And, and just that interaction of watching people see their pieces for the first time oh, yeah. is, is incredible. Um, and there's, um, you know, I, I, I've been doing this for 14 years, and you know, when we first started this, um, there was a gentleman that um, and actually inspired our first show, and he was, he was very, very ill at, at the time, but he was able to interact with the community, and after that, he was able to communicate to me about the impact that it had to him of having someone other than his family and other than me um, see his art and see him as an artist, and it really fueled his own recovery because it allowed him to see himself as an artist mm -hmm. and see himself differently, um, and that is really what Momentum so is all about. So it's a growth opportunity for the artist, too, then. Um, yes, and then there's also people who've shown their art all over, and fantastic artists who are well in their, you know, professionalism of art um, there as well. And you might be able to pick up some fantastic piece of art there. <laughs> so there's, Can't, you know, oh, you, so you're able to get some. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah, some of the pieces are yeah. for sale. Okay. So you know, you're going to have a wide, oh, you know, a wide range of, right. of experiences well, that's that a evening. Wonderful Pretty story neat. to share. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so wind things up. Uh, give us all the details once again, so we can get as many people there as possible. Absolutely. So Hoyt Sherman, um, Thursday night, six to seven thirty, um, in the gallery there at Hoyt Sherman Place. That's um, fifteen oh one. Um, Woodland Avenue, and uh, we hope to see you all there. Yeah, wonderful. wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Really appreciate it. You're watching CWI. We're live here on Channel 23. We'll be right back.